Howdy folks, Ben from Snowies. I want to talk to you today about a common question that comes up and that's whether to stuff or to roll your sleeping bag to get it back into its compression sack. Now I've got two bags with me here today, a synthetic bag that's for just general camping and a down bag for hiking. Now they're both about the same temperature rating, just over one degrees comfort. What we recommend is to stuff the bag. Now there's a few reasons for that. If I start with a synthetic bag, so when you get your synthetic bag from new, it comes folded in half like this and it's really tightly rolled like this. Now over time that does two things. You've got a repetitive fold that runs down the middle of the bag here, so you're consistently folding the synthetic fill inside the bag. And then when you roll it, you're also creating tension through the bag because you're always trying to get it tighter and tighter. So you're creating stresses on the, on the synthetic fill in here. Over time, that can break the synthetic fill down, particularly up and down the middle of the back and front of the bag here. Stuffing it gets around that because you can just grab the bag, stuff it inside here with an irregular pattern and it creates kind of an irregularity within the synthetic fill. There's no regular folds on there and it lofts up better when you go to use it again next time. Plus, it's much easier to do. So the first thing we're gonna do is grab the foot end of the bag, scrunch it up in our hands, get the compression sack and push that right down the bottom of the bag. Now as you go, you wanna make sure you're, you're compressing it right down the bottom. Don't put it in loosely at the bottom because then you're having a lot of hard work to try and pack it in tightly at the top. Now put it between your feet, grab it up under your arm and just start punching the bag down into the compression sack. Once it's full on one side, give it a twist. Keep punching it right down to the bottom. Work your way around, keep giving it a twist. Supporting with your feet. Hold your fist in the top there and do the top up. It's a whole lot easier than trying to roll it and feed it back into the compression sack. This one's got a little cap to go over the top, compression cap. If we want to use the, the compression feature for a general camping bag, not so important. Now a down bag is the same, same process. You've got to be a little bit more careful with a down bag because it's made with a lot of extra fabric and baffles inside. But we want to stuff that as well. Rolling a down bag is it's difficult. Um, but if you roll it, you can tend to sort of create sheets of down that don't want to loft up again. Same as with the synthetic. If you roll it, you flatten that. It creates flat sheets of, of, um, of insulation rather than allowing it to loft up. With a down bag, once again, stuff it in just like the other bags. One tip is to turn it inside out before you start. A lot of down bags have a water resistant shell. They don't breathe as easily. If I go and try and stuff this inside this compression sack now, I'll end up with big balloons of fabric up out the top. So the first thing I want to do is turn this inside out. Just undo the zip a little bit, put my hand down to the foot, pull it through. The same process. Start with the foot end, nice handful there. And stuff it into the bottom between the feet if you like. It's a little bit easy with a down bag. You don't necessarily need to press, um, pinch it between your feet. You just keep stuffing and working your way around the bag, pushing it right down to the bottom. Keep going, just being gentle. Don't pull the fabric as you go. You don't want to tear any baffles or anything inside. Tighten it up. Same deal, we've got a compression cap over the top of this one. Do that up and we're done. So the answer to your question, do I stuff or roll my sleeping bag? Stuff it in, it's easier for you, it's better on the bag, it gives it longer life and it makes it warmer to sleep in. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.